All right, so take one. Oh, it's recording? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> What's up guys? So this is our channel. Obviously you can tell this is the first time we've done this because we don't know if it's recording or not. But thank you guys so much for checking it out. So what we're in is we're actually in our airport after our honeymoon. So we're in Mexico City, but we wanted to bring you guys our first video. And the first video is gonna be about what, babe? about not awakening love until the right time. Now, I'm Bryant, this is my wife Diana, and this is our brand new YouTube page, and we created it so that we can grow with other people. We can grow with you guys. We really felt in our hearts that we had to create something where other people can reach out. I mean, we don't know everything, but as we grow, we want to grow with you guys. And we're super excited. I think personally for me, um, relationships, when I was single, um, that was something that was huge. Like I was like, God, I want to do this the right way. And I just need like instruction and guidance. And so I read books and books and books about singleness and like relationships and courting. And um, I think I just got a lot of wisdom out of them. And I think it's needed. It's so needed in our time now, in our generation, and just being people that know how to do this God's way. So we're excited to come to you guys and just to share and to learn along with you guys because we're still learning so many things. So she was reading books, she was doing all these types of stuff, and I was not. I didn't want the love. I didn't care about love. I will probably like some of you guys were like, seriously, I do not want to get married. I don't want to have kids. I just want to have fun. I want to be a millionaire, I want to go travel, I want to do ridiculous amounts of things and I'm not looking to get married or settle down. But, you know, God has other plans. <laughs> Found a good wife. Yes, an amazing wife. Now, what we want uh, this show to be about is we're going to make it super relevant to the moment. Um, social media, because that's huge in relationships. Um, everything that has to do with our times. So we hope that you guys love it. So let's just stop talking. Let's go to the first one, okay? <laughs> so um, the verse that we got for this topic was Songs of Songs 3, 5, um, also known as Songs of Solomon. So chapter 3, verse 5. Promise me, O woman of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and wild deer, not to awaken love until the time is right. Now she actually told me about this scripture. So I was in a relationship um, years ago, lots of years ago, lots. and um, God basically told me like, don't awaken love because it's not the right time. And so I actually, God spoke this verse to me, and that was my cue, like, hello, Diana, get out, run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it wasn't time. It wasn't my time to be in a relationship. It wasn't my time to love somebody. Um, and I thought it was love, but it wasn't love. So for me, I was in a relationship too, but yeah, I wasn't listening to the voice of God in any way. I was super, I, it, was, it was a high school love. I thought that she was the one for me. Um, and it's funny how it says, do not awaken love until it's the right time. That means that love can be woken at the wrong time. And that's what we and have to watch out for. Too. And with the wrong person too. And that's what's crazy. What happens when we awaken love at the wrong time is that we bring ourselves into a position where it's not in purpose, it's with the wrong person, and... I mean, you're wasting time, you're wasting their time. You could be pursuing other things that are purposeful um, during that time, um, or even, I think, elongating the process of meeting the actual person yeah. that is for you. You're gonna be more miserable in life with the wrong person that you marry than if you were single. Yes. Because if you're Preach single, it. I mean, we we're, were pretty we we're pretty good at being single. It we got married after 4 years of meeting each other. And what did I do? I pursued ministry. I did so many stuff that I wanted to do. She traveled to missionary trips. 
that she could do on her own. She went to school in another state. She did things that she was only really able to do single. Now, if you're married, yeah, of course you could do those things, but then you got other somebody else to, to worry about. What if, what if your husband does not want to do anything that you like? What are you going to do? You're going to have a hard time. And so, um, since we're on the topic of not awakening love at the wrong time, how do we know that, you know, it's the right time? Like, when do we know it's the right time? Yeah. And so I think that you'll just kind of know, like, and I know that's so cliche to say, <laughs> but, um, seriously, like, if you seek the Lord and you just pray and you, like, ask for that confirmation, like, God, I need to know if this is the one. When I met Brian, I was like, God, this guy, like, his passions, his dreams, everything is so different from mine. Like, how, how is it, like, going to collide with my passions and my calling and, you know, the things that you've called me to do? And so, I just simply ask, like, God, what is your, like, plan for this relationship if this is a relationship and don't move until God says yes that's huge like not making a move until you know that you have that confirmation and you'll receive confirmation in so many different ways that you'll be 100% sure um, and even though there might be fear there and there might be doubt at times or it'll be probably a little bit scary um, you'll definitely feel a peace and you'll just know um, that it's the right time now, we also had a long-distance relationship for a few years. Now, what that had is a lot of people say long-distance relationships suck, but what it did, it allowed us to get to know each other. Oh, I couldn't look at her face. I couldn't hold her. I couldn't do anything like that. That distracts me from these red flags. I literally had to hear her voice and hear who she is, and that's what I loved about it. I got to know this girl deep down inside, and she got to know me too. That's all we got to know, and I, I, I highly recommend that. Ask a thousand questions. What's your favorite color? Where do you like to eat? What do you want to do? How many kids do you want to have? Um, what are your parents like? Are, what are this? Um, I don't know. Are your parents divorced? How many things are that? If you, I'm getting a little spiritual here, but generational curses, you do have to watch out for that too. You got to watch out for who she's listening to, who she hangs out with, all of these things, who he hangs out with, and stop settling. And I think definitely with awakening love like God calls us he, he'll basically save us from that trouble from that heartache yes. so like yeah. he's saying don't awaken love until the right time and I believe that when we awaken love at the wrong time we're only setting ourselves up for heartache and that process can like it's kind of like a grieving process like it yeah. takes a while to get over and you know like yeah it, it's it's intense like it's, it hurts it's not something that's like easy to go through and I believe that God's wants to save us from that trouble of being um, in heartache and after heartache and so yeah I think definitely that God calls us to just I mean he gives instructions for reasons and okay. yeah. so yeah and the reason that I wanted to film this at an airport is because imagine your life as this okay we're young we have FOMO so if you don't know what that is that's a fear of missing out now what you're gonna be seeing is we're in an airport a lot of people you don't know, you see from a distance, they look like they have these most amazing lives, they're with their partners, but the thing is, they're traveling and going to different places and with the wrong person. You can do life with the wrong person. They're getting on flights, they're going to different destinations, and you see other people and you're saying, man, when's my flight gonna leave? You know, their flight has already left. And you start getting this impatience of, I want to go too. I want to join that too. I want to go where they're going. I want to do the same thing. I want to experience what they're experiencing. But that's a different life. Worry about what God has for you and stop fearing that you're going to miss something or you're going to miss your flight because you're not. I'm going to stay at my port. I'm going to wait here patiently. I'm going to do what you have um, call me to do God and when that comes around I'll hop right on love you guys, love you guys. I'll see you later watching.